Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down the 10 Mikey Garcia best knockouts. Number 10. Mikey Garcia vs Elio Rojas. On July 30, 2016, Garcia beat Elio Rojas by TKO at 202 in round 5 of 10. That whole community comes. And you know, I'm sure Mikey Garcia feels like he's gonna land something big and he did. He's been away for so long. Especially because he wants to fight in his next fight for a light title. Is it like staying in the pocket? Oh, but that and he said that's where he wants to compete after this fight, but right now trying to hold on. Fundamentals. He cut off Rojas right there. You see how he stepped his off and cut him off. Oh, this is a former world champion, guys. Yes, he never got the exposure he felt he deserved. Psychologically, the pressure Garcia brings to him. Rojas hands down trying to use a basic oh. hand movement, but gets tagged and hit him by Garcia. This is good. Oh, no. Number 9. Mikey Garcia vs. Jonathan Victor Barros. On November 10, 2012, Garcia beat Jonathan Victor Barros by TKO at 2.24 in round 8 of 10. Muy bien, empieza así en el centro del cuadrilátero, se empieza a medir, empieza con el jab, con ese gancho y la mazón. Quiero decirte, Rodolfo, este Jonathan. Me gusta tiempo, espacio, distancia, intenta otra vez, mandaba a la derecha. Pero no lo está tirando como recto, rematado con la mano derecha y lo volvemos a ver. Lo siente cerca, sale por piernas. Jonathan se equivoca en algo, se queda bajito, se hace chiquito, le estira las manos y ve a nada más. Está rechazo, ¿eh? Exacto, ¿no? Un recto de izquierda fenomenal y ve a nada más. Para resultados perfectos, siempre con Jeff Formen, ultra, con la mano siniestra y le hacía. Ves, se queda lejos, Jonathan Barros, ataca a Mikey García, entra perfecto. Está siempre atento aquí el Mickey García, bien suelta la combinación. La... Tenemos a Mickey García, saludos a todos los curiosos. Exactamente, Dan, Dran contra golpeador, el Mickey García suelta. El raso que lo tira de recto ahí, uh. lo agarra con esa mano derecha. Vean, apareció otro uh. Mickey, oh. entra a la izquierda volada. Agarró una sorpresa total, dice no, yo ya me voy. Denme para el autobús, para el aeropuerto, porque ya no quiero más. Y dice ya no quiero más. Number 8. Mikey Garcia vs. Thomas Villa. On April 3, 2010, Garcia beat Thomas Villa by TKO at 107 in round 1 of 12 and won vacant IBF USBA featherweight title. This is a guy who uh, comes off, uh, and I was at disqualification, winning the fight against Juan Ruiz, and it's he feels bad that it has to go down as a DQ, but we were at that fight, and it was a dominant win for him. It was a terrific fight, of course, and uh, there was a, a lot of foul, right? but uh, Villa was very impressive in terms of his toughness. Oh, look at that power. Just like that. I'm a puncher. I'm a counter puncher. I'm a technical fighter. What he did say is he's a good finisher, and if he sees in his man's eyes that he's ready to go, he'll jump him. Now, obviously, he does not feel that way. He feels this was a flash knockdown. Wow. Down he goes again. That is brilliant stuff right there. Villa shaking his head angry with himself, but... He just got tagged, and Mikey is just too quick for him. Hurt. But Villa's out of it. He That's Villa's it. out of it. Yeah. yeah. They stopped the fight. Number seven. Mikey Garcia versus Bernabe Concepcion. On March 10, 2012, defending WBC NABF and WBO NABO featherweight titles, Garcia beat Bernabe Concepcion by TKO at 233 in round seven of ten. Cities and in, in the black trunks. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> Goes to the body with the right hand, chopped him down. Ooh, stinging. Round Garcia had landed 29 punches, 22 of them were jabs. Time. Now Garcia moving forward. Another straight right hand. Ooh. Red and black trunks. There's that right championship fight. Ooh. Right hand lands. Steel. Yeah, but look at this guy leverage on his punches. This is the mark of a good puncher that can generate that type of knockout. Yes, this is a classic example. Garcia is a classic example of building his arsenal. With me, it was always yep. about my performance. Oh, oh my. Well, there, there's some marketing right there. Trouble. As Garcia moves in, touch on in some trouble. Oh, Left hook, catches Concepcion again, followed by a stiff right hand. Now he pounds the button. With the intensity, 
but he could not sustain it, Concepcion. He threw a couple combination punches. Concepcion on the ropes. They may stop it, and they do. Here are the seven. Number six. Mikey Garcia versus Cornelius Locke. On August 14, 2010, Garcia beat Cornelius Locke by TKO at 109 in round 11 of 12. Uh, of the himself a boxer first. Третьем раунде сейчас. Опа! Вот это да! Тем не менее, отправил в тяжелый нокдаун. И сейчас на грани второго нокдауна был. И Гарсия бросается за ним. И... Может быть, он действительно прятал. Да. И, судя по всему, Лок это за... Видите, неожиданно Корнт Контр атакует. Опа, хорошо. Справа запал и пошел добивать. И пошел добивать. Опа, раз, ну, в размене я бы не вижу. О, Гарси, интересно. Опа, опять. Попал. Попал справа. Что, значит, сейчас будет блон. Если человек, который он пропускал. Справа. Справа удар. Очень точно. Номер 5. Майки Гарсия vs. Йогли Аррера. On December 19, 2009, Гарсия beat Йогли Аррера by knockout at 219 in round 3 of 8. Lives now in Miami, but originally from Colombia. Of a wide puncher, and I'm sure that's created issues for him in the past. Oh, for him. I would like to see straight right hands to the stomach that Alexis from Puerto Rico just threw. He got hit. He actually got hit with a right that actually kind of made his, his heavy-handed as his record might indicate. Yeah. Guerrero moves along the ropes. It's a lot of ring to cut off. So much like this, or moving around, not running, but actually moving so much. The issue is the size of this ring. Now, now he's got him on the ropes, and maybe he can make. Ring, so he ran right into that yeah. right from Miguel Garcia. Yes, there's a good yes. to start fighting here a little bit. Correctly, and you can see that in this young man. Go oh. Down goes <laughs> under the tape. I'm, I'm wondering if he's actually hurting the. I like the fact that he's actually gained a little bit of distance, not getting humbled a bit, so his legs may not be all the way there. He doesn't look really oh, there in his right hand. Oh, eight, nine, ten, ten and out, knockout. Number four, Mikey Garcia versus Rafael Guzman. On June 4, 2011, Defending WBC NABF and WBO NABO featherweight titles Garcia beat Rafael Guzman by knockout at 155 in round 4 of 12. Just by the way you have it still. Guys, this is this first round with some high level stuff. Right hand and a left. Specifically for any fighter, they were just trying to get better. Why would they take that? There's a good left hand by Garcia. Oh. Good right hand by Garcia after a left hand. Steps in with the right hand again. How that um, as Garcia throws the left and then steps in with the right hand again. I like Garcia's defense. Keeps that right hand high. The key, you know, Mikey Garcia right now in the landscape. The Salido upset Juan Manuel Lopez. There's Garcia. Speaking of defense, Roy, I noticed that since oh, the oh, right hand by Garcia. Since the first round, Guzman's jab has been much less effective. Might be a move point now. Left. Guzman trying to fight back or see his step in the jab battle against a taller guy. You don't often see that, but it always works from Guzman. I was going to ask Roy Hathaway, how is Garcia taking the jab away? Oh, he's taking away with his own jab. Guzman is not jabbing first. Garcia see right there? Garcia is leads with the jab. Tough guys, we told you a story about. <laughs> oh, walk right into a shot there. Five, six, oh, and he's not getting up. Number three. Mikey Garcia vs. Juan Manuel Lopez. On June 15, 2013, defending WBO and the ring featherweight titles Garcia beat Juan Manuel Lopez by TKO at 1.34 in round 4 of 12. Feet of the left hook, like right there. Arms. Like that, right there. 
touches Mikey with the left hand, but not big. Down he goes. Academy in Ventura County, California. 30 years old in two weeks, Roy Jones. Does he look like an old big heart, very skilled, skilled fighter, and a very powerful guy? To the left hand in that exchange. Not a No, he has a big heart, Jim. Hurt him a little bit tonight because he's in front of a big puncher. And because his balance is so bad. Mike is just taking a little step back like that. And then Mike is going to punch the shot. Second time Lopez has been down. Third time he's been rocked. Number two. Mikey Garcia versus Roman Martinez. On November 9th, 2013. Garcia beat defending WBO junior lightweight title Roman Martinez by knockout at 0.56 in round 8 of 12. If he's still in it. Oh. Down goes Garcia. Oh, good shot. Purple trunks. Martinez in the red, white, and blue. Good shots by Mikey Garcia. Corners throughout the fight. Oh, oh, like the left hook that he landed, not trying to do too much punches that are landing. Oh, hey, hey. Now the left hook lands for Garcia. <laughs> They're doing a lot. Garcia's got a minute to work with here. Two more power shots land for Garcia. There it is again. Rocked that one finally. Oh, hey. And he gets him with the right hand. As he got Martinez to be there. This kid is throwing mean counter punches, and he wouldn't last long out with Mikey Garcia. Might not last long anyway at this point. Another right hand. Into a guy who's given up oh. the ghost of his. Garcia sets up to trap him again. Hammers him. Oh, body shot. Clear that Martinez will get up. It's a body shot knockout. Number one. Mikey Garcia vs. Dayan Zlatikanin On January 28, 2017, Garcia beat defending WBC lightweight title Dayan Zlatikanin by knockout at 221 in round 3 of 12. Thank you for watching please like, comment and subscribe.